find ourselves in uh, Gruya's backyard, uh, what we call the Estero. And we, this is the perfect loca location to talk about something very, very special. Um, when you barbecue, what kind of wood do you use? What is the secret that, that uh, helps you prepare a delicious meal? When there's soil erosion, what kind of plant is, or tree is needed to prevent that? What, what uh, kind of, uh, where can you get shelter from? Where can you get building materials from? Where can you get food? Where can you get air conditioning? Where can you get shade? The answer for all of those is the mesquite tree. That's why it's called the super tree. It is a mesquite because it provides for all those things. And, and the mesquite uh, is it, uh, native to the Southwest, Mexico, Southwest United States. It grows freely. And, and it is a noble tree because you take care of it for about two years, watering it and trimming it and so on, and then let it go. And the tree seems to say, uh, it's, it, because it's very sustain, sustainable, it says, stands and says, give me whatever you got, whatever you got. A brutal sun, drought, rain, frost, wind, ice, whatever you want to give me, I will, I can stand for all of that. That's a mesquite tree. That's why it's a super tree. Now, all trees provide shade. We know that. But there's something special about the leaves of the mesquite tree. The leaves are so small, so tiny, that they grow in the millions in every tree. And there, that's where the beauty of it, that's where the, uh, the wh what helps it send us uh, cooling air to us. Here's what happened. Even the slightest breeze will pass through the leaves because they're so tiny. Bigger trees with thicker brush will, will not let the wind come through. But the, the mesquite trees do because the leaves are so small. And as it passes through it, it has a cooling effect. And by the time it, th that breeze comes to us, it's already cool because of what happened, the, the way it, it went through it. And if you, if you were not sure what I'm talking about, or you tr try it during the summer when it's very, very hot, and get under a, a mesquite tree, and you will see the difference, that how, how uh, it really provides you that cooling effect. And I'll talk about the cooling effect in a, bit, in a little bit. But, uh, um, but, but it's a beautiful, beautiful tree. And, and wh what happens is it's called the ev evaporative cooling effect. Uh, and what this happens is it's uh, similar to perspiration in the body. Wh wh when the, when the, uh, uh, the body perspires, uh, it, there's a reason for it. Uh, it. It's to keep the body cool from overheating. And uh, when the, the, the sweat that, uh, that is uh, provided with, with, uh, in the body, in, in order for it to evaporate, it needs to draw on the heat of the body. The water with the heat will evaporate, and, and as it pulls the heat from the body, it cools it, so, in, it, it, so that it will be uh, prevent you from overheating. Uh, the same thing happens in, in mesquite tree. Because the leaves are wet, uh, they have water from the tree, from the root. Uh, all the leaves have wa water. When the, uh, the, even the slightest breeze that goes by, uh, well, well in, in order for, for that breeze to evaporate, and it does, then it has to draw on the, on the water in the leaves. And so it, 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 in order to draw the heat, then it cools the air and, and it circulates and it comes to us it, 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 as, a, as, as, as cool air. So the, the mesquite tree provides so many, uh, there's so many things that you can get from it. For instance, it is um, extremely important uh, because it has different benefits. The mesquite tree draws the nitrogen from the, from the soil. It seeks the moisture from the subsoil underground. Uh, they provide shade. They are planted in reforestation. They use very little water. Uh, and they serve as fodder for animals. Yeah? They attract insects to, po to pollinate. And then also the se seeds that it provides are edible. And with a, with a high content, the seeds have a high content of carbohydrates and proteins, calcium, magnesium, iron, and zinc. And some people use it to prepare atole, gorditas, and empanadas. Now, isn't that a, a, a really, truly uh, magnificent super tree?
the, the mesquite tree pr uh, also pr produces sap, which uh, as we know it as chawite. And this, I bet you a lot of you have tasted this. This is sweet and it contains some of the minerals and that, that uh, are good for us. Huh? And I know when, when we were kids, we used to eat a lot of this. Huh? So this is also part of the fruit that the mesquite tree gives.